never found. Never goes right in this inspiration. We the underground. The underground. the way for the famous year, the underground. The pioneers remain nameless here in the underground. The majors and the players who get praise and say they made it. Ain't got saved and good and polished like a diamond in the underground. When they lose touch with their roots, I need another sound. The industry climbs down into the underground. We be the mom and pop. They be incorporated, they love and we're unknown Hated amongst our own, contracts made to escape And to a good like they be saying Some lucky to get paid for a John Hancock on papers Related to the favorite, somehow gets people famous With no talent, like talent lame There's only room for one in the game It's still folks very dedicated Don't hate that some have made it But why is one thrown? Welcome to What's Hitting I'm your host, Snooky Blaze this series is designed to get up close and personal with emerging and established underground, independent rappers, singers, poets, producers, composers, writers, and designers, and many more. Stay tuned to what's hitting. Today on What's Hitting, we have Mr. Notice Williams a Philadelphia-based poet who grew up with deep thinking and deep thought since he was very young. He found his freedom in his voice through poetry. He is currently working on his first book, and when we come back, we'll meet Mr. Notice Williams right here on the What's Hidden Couch. We're going to check out an independent artist, and we'll be right back. I'm your host, Snooky Blaze. And welcome back to What's Hitting. I'm your girl, Snooky Blaze. And as I promised, Mr. Notice Williams is here to bless our couch, a Philly based poet. So tell me, you tell me you're a Philly based poet, but are you born and raised in Philly and yes, where? Born and raised in Philadelphia. I was born on Erie Avenue and I grew up around Six and Huntington Park. So I'm definitely a Philadelphia person. Mm. All right. So tell me, at what age did you begin to write your poetry? Uh, I was about 11. Um, I was always the only child. And being the only child, when you're not, you're not around your cousins or your friends, you fantasize a lot. So I would have these stories going around in my head. And I would write them down. And I would read them. And one day I told my mom, I think I wrote a story. And I read it with a little rhythm to it. And she's like, no. It's kind of a story, but it's more of a poem. And she started explaining to me, because she also writes as well. And from that point on, I started writing and, you know, write my little poems. It was only like 10 lines, but it meant a lot to me, you know. And it pushed me to continue on doing what I do now. Mm. Now, you, everyone has this transition with poetry. Some mm -hmm. people do the storytelling with poetry. Some people do a uh, historic twist on their poetry. But when did you start transitioning from just writing down stories as poetry to actually making conscious poetry? Uh, experience in life. You know, when I, when I be out in the street a lot, I look at people and I see a lot of pain on people. I see happiness. I see people wanting to do things they might not know what they want to do some people know what they have or don't know what they have and I'm the type of person I feel everything if somebody walk past me with an attitude I feel it and I try to figure out why they have attitude and I come up with a lot of ideas that way just from people's force you know their vibes they carry so 
that led me to writing more conscious type poetry because it's things that I needed to know, it's more things that I want to know, and I know I'm not the only person out here like that. So I figure if I write from a real perspective, as I always talk from a real perspective, you know, that's just being who I am. I have to, with this art form, I have to give the people who I am. I have to tell my story and sometimes their stories as well. Mm. We're going to take a break and see an independent artist. And when we come back, we'll have Mr. Notice Williams right here on the couch telling us some more about him. And we'll be right back to What's Hidden. Sinatra's that, homie, I'm like oxygen I'm everywhere, just breathe me in This boy, the real McCoy, got gift to earth That flow is heaven sent Oh, so extravagant, my swag gifted and elegant Should be inaugurated Way I'm stacking up my presidents A chiseled in the monument Respect, I can climb a ring And welcome back to What's Hitting I'm your host, Snooky Blaze We're here with Mr. Notice Our poet from Philly And he's going to tell us what do you want your to resonate with your audience when you're speaking your words of poetry? Um, I think I want them to realize that it's okay to be who they are. You know, we have this a lot of facades around us as far as like careers, you know, everyday living, making money. But at the end of the day, 90% of people look in the mirror and they're not really truly happy with who they are. So I want people, my audience, to know that it's okay to be who they are, who they are. Um, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you can find a way to come back from them. There's nothing wrong with being who you are. You know, we have everything around us to camouflage what we are because we're afraid that we're not going to be accepted by the masses or accepted by society. But at the end of the day, I can't live my life for you. You can't live your life for me. We have to live for ourselves. And to please anybody, before we please anybody, we have to please ourselves. So mm -hmm. that's what I would like my audience to know. And who are some of the icons that inspired you growing up? Oh, man, there's a lot of them. Um, the last poets, uh, Curtis Mayfield, Marvin Gaye, you know, a lot of jazz artists like Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, who's my favorite, and Bud Powell, another Philadelphia-based uh, jazz musician, a trumpeter by the name of uh, Lee Morgan. Mm. He's also one of my favorites as well. So I had a array of artists that inspire me still to this day because I came from like a musical household. My mother was always playing music all the time and telling me about different artists. So it kind of grew on me to pay attention to more, pay attention to more than what just the product it was putting out. Mm -hmm. And that helped inspire me to want to achieve and continue on doing what I do. Mm. And what do you like to drink to relax your nerves before you do a performance? Um, okay. Wait, no, no, no. Hold up. We're going to take a break, check out an indie artist, and when we come back, he's going to make it for us right here at the What's Hidden Studio. And we'll be right back. Mixology. Welcome back to What's Hidden. We're here in our Mixed Allergy segment, and I'm your host, Snooky Blaze, and we're here with Mr. Notice, and he is going to make us a drink that he uses to relax before doing some of his shows. So what's the name of the drink? Uh, the drink is called Paradise. It's real simple to make. I actually you have some uh, frozen mangoes here, frozen peaches, some raspberry lime sparkling water, and some cranberry juice. So what I like to do is 
take some of the mango, put it in each glass. You know, you gotta have the mango flavor in there. Then you add your peaches. You know, peaches are very sweet, naturally sweet. You can't go wrong with that. Then I like to take the raspberry lime sparkling water. Put this in there. So it gives you that I'm drinking a soda, but it's not a soda. Yeah. So I don't have the calories and the diabetes. And to add a little mm. more sweetness to it, because we all like little sweet drinks. Just a little bit. Admit, just a little bit. Have none other than great cranberry juice. All right. Does the job for plenty of drinks. And it's also good for your system. Look at that, nice and pretty, nice color, and very tasty. All right. Mm. That's paradise. That's very refreshing. Make sure y'all go to the website so y'all can get the ingredients and y'all can make your own paradise by notice. We'll be right back from what's hidden and we're going to check out one of our independent artists and we're going to come back to the sofa with Mr. Notice and we're going to ask him a special question. So y'all stay tuned. I'm Snooky Blaze. This is Mr. Notice and we'll be right back. What happened? What happened to those days? What happened? What happened to those times? Oh, what happened? What happened to those years? Ooh, oh, what happened? What happened? Uh, what happened? Oh, what happened? What happened to those days when Grandma used to rave? What happened? And welcome back to What's Hitting. I'm your girl Snooky Blaze, and we're here with Mr. Notice, and we're enjoying our paradise. That is the name of the drink he made me today, and it is sheer paradise. But I do have one question for yes. you. Would you love to perform for sure, us? Sure, I would love to. Yes! I'll be honest. He is going to come back and he's going to perform one of his poems. And we're going to sit here at the What's Hitting Studio and we're going to ride the experience. So when we come right back, Mr. Notice will perform right here on What's Hitting. Usually, we don't come from complete families. Overdue prices and pains are so decisive. Mentally enraged, notices Mr. Hardship, rehab in summer schools, a slave without rules. Another chance at life, with scars under my feet trying to heal and run away. To feel free, leaving my flesh on black stones, me and my queen, chasing blood, we in need. Double time struggled, can life get any better? I'm a man with a dream. Nightmares in my reality, bombed out fantasies pretending I don't see. Mothers fighting daughters and dads killing their sons, no peace in my visions. A world of disappointments, afraid to fly so they dip and smoke water. Fear destroys lives, drowning in my hunting park blues, of course I can't swim. A gift for granted, now guilt lies underwater. Promises above ground, self-hate in the wind. Incense, smoke, breathe and kill the future. Recyclable missions of family goes to war, so statues in the picture freeze just to survive, blessing the keys on a piano, notes of the doom get stronger by the hour, looking for minutes to expand this damn life, running out of time, jewels without a crown, to fall over on God and bleed on red bricks, no faith is delinquent to third eye sight, disabilities become mental, feeling free and self-assured, but sixth street poor, oversight somebody's wrong, committing double stabbings, worthless in my own right, bringing old bar flies to their knees, Midnight anger creates hell in the daylight. Trash in the soul, thinking about nothing. Slowly taking the life out of me. Breathing poetic notes and depressing air. Taking blues to find rest, going mentally ill. Discrimination at the mollies. Individual losses, no heights to climb. Be superior to suicide. More than sorry excuses in life itself. Black bodies destroying their own worlds. A king with no means of livelihood. And high spirits, but no leader in a stable. Splitting atoms, trying to blow away the unit. 
No, this is the East Swim, true to life, the myth, fancy black man deep. Who was he remember yesterday, falling apart, knowledge from broken rebels. At the present time, I see failures, to walk away with stress, a mind cracking on the outside. Asking, is this life worth living? My mother's in a wheelchair, missing a leg and can barely see. The chemical change is consistent, worth the effort on other elements. Raising my hands to honor God, praying on the blessings from the skies, visions from the underworld. Soon I'll be able to walk above ground. And welcome back to What's Hitting. I'm your host, Nikki Blaze, and we just seen a breathtaking performance from Mr. Notice. That was awesome. I loved it. Thank it's you, very moving. I can't wait to see the footage. But anyway, um, what I'd like to ask you is about your upcoming project, which is a book. Yes, it's called um, Cobalt Blues. What it is is a, is a collection of poems from different stages in my life. From a teenager to young man to the man I am now, uh, past experiences, what I'm going through now, um, short stories, some funny, some sad. Uh, I think it's is a good book because it gets people to open up to themselves and also get to look at me as far as like this is my resume. Come to look at me as an artist and as a person on a personal level in, in a little deeper way. Mm, definitely. So. Tell me where people can find you if they want to book you or they want to come see you. Uh, Y'all can reach out to me on noticewinsfacebook.com at my AOL, Lord Dubs, L-O-R-D-D-U-B-B-S, number seven at AOL.com. Or you can call me for my phone, 267-221-4789. Appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Well, that was What's Hidden. Again, Mr. Notice Williams has come out to bless our couch. He has blessed our studio with a live performance. So please check in to What's Hidden. I'm your host, Snooky Blaze. This was our guest, Mr. Notice Williams, right here on our couch. And we'll be back. Welcome to What's Hitting. I'm your host, Snooky Blaze, and today we're on location at Beat Street Jam, featuring Killiam Shakespeare. Killiam Shakespeare is a collaboration of unique individuals established in their own right, infused together to create a new sound for Philly. We're going to check out our independent artists and be right back here at Beat Street Jam with Killiam Shakespeare. You're watching What's Hitting. I'm your host, Snooky Blaze. Stay tuned. And welcome back to What's Hitting. Again, I'm your host, Snooky Blaze. We're on location with Killiam Shakespeare. And we have the creators of Killiam Shakespeare here. And we're going to talk to them. And we have two of the greatest guitar players in Philadelphia. That's what I heard, y'all. That's what I heard, that they're the greatest. They can't speak on it, but I can say it. So I'm gonna make sure I put that out. Oh, see, see, we got other people confirm. We got see people confirming it there on the board. So first up, my first question to y'all: We all want to share, right? Well, first of all, let's introduce everybody because we we got some heavy hitters individually by themselves, and they came together as a collaborative. So let's see who we got. I'm Steve McKee. Hey, you won't have to pass this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Steve. I'm I'm Steve McKee, the drummer and producer. I'm from Philly, born okay. and raised. I'm Corey Bernhard. Uh, I live in Philly, originally from Massachusetts. <laughs> I'm Simon Martinez. I play guitar. I'm from Doylestown originally, but I live in Philly now. Anthony DiCarlo. I'm uh, from Stratton, but I'm in Philly now. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right? Be nice. Everybody be nice. We're all friends up in here. Okay. My first question to you guys are, what inspired you guys to create such a collaboration of artists? Who wants to get uh, what inspired us was just being friends and playing together, playing with um, a bunch of different artists. And, you know, we have fun playing with each other. And, you know, it's not just music. We, we go to basketball games. And, you know, we do a bunch of stuff. And the music just sounds great together with us playing. So it was a no-brainer for us. Okay. So it's more like a family. So yeah. you guys grew Brother into a family, head. like a tree, a nice, strong, foundational tree, right? Yeah. Okay. And I love to know, um, how do you maintain that harmony within a group that has so many members? You 
can't answer this one. <laughs> um, you know, just by having fun together and playing music a lot together and being kind of cool, low-key guys, you know, we all get along. It's not really hard to get along with each other because, well, I mean, you say the wrong thing to Steve. Steve will probably try to fight you, but. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't pass him the mic. I mean, Yeah, so you just gotta know, like you know, how to approach everybody, cause we're all we're all musicians, so we're a little sensitive at times. But we're all brothers too, so it's a family. You know, we might get in a fight, and then 20 minutes later, we're playing basketball or something like that. <laughs> Have you ever created music out of something that was going on within the band that you couldn't quite squash, but you had a consciousness of like are we going to respect each other on this and we're just going to agree to disagree did any music ever come out of that no i mean everybody's equally talented and dope so the music comes together real easy there's no no discrimination there's no nothing like if Corey's coming up with a part everybody falls in and we play the part and it's always amazing so that's what the beauty of this group is we we all bring something that's really special Everybody has their own individual unique sound and there's, there's never usually any problems like that. We go in the studio and we'll, we'll cut a song in the next, we'll cut three songs in 20 minutes. Mm. Yeah. So you must have a lot of a lot of songs, a lot of music that you want to play on 106.5 FM yes. with What's Hitting Radio yeah. Plays. Yes we do, <laughs> yes we do. Okay, Killing em Season 1. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. That was an awesome, awesome album. We're waiting to see what you have next. Oh, so man. what's next? Kill him season two. Really? <laughs> yeah. Who will we be dropping that? Uh, it's coming pretty soon. We're in the studio right now working on it. We got a lot of um, special people that are collaborating with us for it. So it's going to be dope. Uh, like our, our friend Messina from D.C. Okay. Hoping we can get her on there. Um, yeah, she might make a cameo. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see her later. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're on it. Aaron Camper, our homie Aaron. Uh, who else? Yeah, Jazzy Jeff. Um, I was getting to it. I was getting to it. My bad. not so much come on back he's still a part of the family and we're recording a lot of music with him and you know he's been a huge blessing to us and we're just happy to have someone with that stature on our record too we're recording in the studio right now our next project and we also recorded his album chasing goosebumps that okay. we we all went in there recording with him Messina as well and you know it's a it's a, it's a big happy family so we're going to be working with him for the foreseeable future Okay. Now, let us know where we can find your music, find you, and even if you have a uh, show coming up soon. Um, we are playing in a week in New York at Brooklyn Bowl, and we also have all our music available at our website, KilliamShakespeare.com, and we are on social media, Facebook and Twitter as Killiam Shakespeare. <laughs> you want to send me a card later I'm sure. on? With that? <laughs> no, I'm sure. sure. Okay. I'm sure. All right. I'm He's sure, sure y'all. He's sure. He got this. I'm okay. sure. Okay. You were watching what's hitting. I'm your host, Nikki Blaze. We're going to stick around and watch this big collaborative band rock out and show you some footage of some of this Beach Street Jam, I believe, that we're at. And and, and this is their thing. They love it. So they, they're going to be here at every Beach Street Jam, right? Yeah, this is your thing, band. right? Okay, that, they the house band. See, that, I told you they love it. <laughs> so check us out. We'll be right back. We're going to check out some of our independent artists. And you were watching what's hitting. We'll be right back.